Another day, another crime-busting operation in KwaZulu-Natal. What we're going to do is we're going to get information from you concerning crime, weapons, anything you want to give me. If you think it's serious enough that we can use uh, RPA to execute this operation. This time, the authorities have a secret weapon on their side. At a nearby airfield, Seeker is being primed for flight. The RPV is going to fly out and do an observation over that area where the target is. Seeker is a small, remotely piloted aircraft, or RPA, carrying a very expensive camera, also controlled by remote. While the humans discuss targets, Seeker practices spying on its surroundings and on unsuspecting journalists. The target today will be the Tugela area of central KwaZulu-Natal. Difficult to reach, impossible to police, and apparently in the grip of a mini-war between rival clans. The aim is a dawn raid to seize illegal weapons without getting any soldiers or policemen killed. Accurate information is vital. Seeker has a range of 200 kilometers and can beam back live images with astonishing detail, like a tennis match filmed at 10,000 feet up or a remote rescue operation. Seeker kept an eye on the 1994 elections and will watch over the polls next year but the system really shines in the dark. This footage was shot at three in the morning over a pitch-dark cane field near the Mozambique border. The dark shapes are illegal immigrants making a rendezvous with their taxi. The spy cameras can also be fitted to helicopters. That system, known as LEO, saw action in Lesotho. It was sent in to spy on deserted bases used by rebel soldiers at night. And we managed to actually see with the camera where the communications antenna was and the wire that actually led to their communication centre. So we knew exactly where they were sending their communications from. So from what sort of height was, your, was Leo picking up the wire on the communications antenna? We were, we, went, we were about a thousand foot above the ground. Seeker breaks through the cloud and begins to send back images of the warring kraals, producing a living map. It doesn't play a role as in um, an offensive weapon. It's a role in multiplying the forces' capabilities and giving them that assurity that there is something looking after them while they're on the ground. There is a type of a platform or a, an arm of service looking after them while they're actually carrying out a specific operation, albeit... Um, peacekeeping operations or salvaging operations, search and rescue operations, as long as there's something to look after them. Seeker gets a lot of practice on this sort of operation. South Africa is the only country to allow military spy planes into civilian airspace during peacetime. One of the few defence forces in the world that are actually operationally successful with an unmanned vehicle system. You can hide, but you can't hide completely. You know, um, the only thing they can see through doors and walls is a window that uh, we, we try to see through as much as we can.